Hey, what's up YouTube? I finally have the Founders Box. We're gonna do a founding box over. I'm gonna show you exactly what's inside this thing. I can't wait. Take the lid off. So I got all my boxes today. And inside the shipping box, I got this nice poster. Pretty good quality. But like everything from Gamers Workshop, it's always good quality. Same thing from Play Fusion. And look at the colors on this thing. That is some detail. Just like their models, just like their game. Oh my gosh, look at that. Green skins. Looks like some Chaos guys. Stormcast Eternals. Probably Vandus Hammerhand. Looks like we got some Death here. Flesh Eater Quartz. We got the Ghoul King riding a Terrorgeist. Alright, and that's the poster that's inside. That is one of the items they said they were going to give you. Oh, look. So we have some shifting around and... Dear Founder, thank you for your support. Best wishes, the Play Fusion team. That's cool. That's handwritten. It's a note straight to me, huh? But all the boxes have it. I have the promos here. Sort of everything kind of shifted around in, <clears throat> in shipping. So we got, I think these are one a piece. Look, we're gonna open this up and take a look. Take a closer look. We're gonna open that up. Oh, if I can get it open. There we go. Look at that, the Celestin Prime. Ooh, a foily. Okay. It's a champion. Look at the top two cards of your deck and move one into your hand and the other to the bottom of your deck. Oh wow, that's pretty good. I mean, you can draw two cards a turn, but having draw power on a card that seemingly doesn't go away, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Now, where's the code on this? I think you, I think the code is like you can um, still, you know, screenshot the code. But don't worry, guys, I will. Uh, grab these ones for myself so by the time you're watching this video you're probably not well I mean I'll be in the beta because I'm a founder but I don't know if you'll be able to get to it before I do so please don't try and grab those cards and then let's see next one is Archeon so this is a chaos the last one was order we don't really need to open this one there's only one a piece inside these packs Archeon let's see when this champion removes a highlighted unit, draw one card. Oh wow, we got two draw power cards. When this champion removes a highlighted spell, remove one spell from your discard pile to your hand. From your discard pile. Okay. So we have some, we have more draw power type cards. Let's see. Oh, I see. They put each promo on top of the deck that it belongs to. Now we are getting some slight warping with these cards. I'm really hoping that their um, foils aren't all going to be like this, though this is an indicator that they might. These cards do feel high quality and they look high quality, but a lot of times in a lot of card games, foils do bend. I hope that's not the case with every foil. Well, let's see what we got here. Gordrak, Fist of Gork. <clears throat> if the highlighted champion is a wizard, increase this champion's damage done from abilities by two. Heroic act. Rotate all of your units to their final corner. Okay. Wow, that's fast. You're going to be able to rotate pretty fast. That's a pretty good looking card. So that's three. And then the death mob. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nagash. Alright, he's the god of undead. Supreme Lord. So anybody that knows from the lore, he um, he's part of the pantheon that Sigmar tried to put together. Uh, if any of you have been reading up on that, the champion can deploy risen units. Okay, so you can bring guys back. And you can bring guys back to your hand. Heroic act can only be used once per game. So this guy is like draw power, but only for um, like units, which is the creatures in this game. That's cool. So you got four of those. I think next thing that's kind of also loose in the pack are the counters now I didn't think these counters are gonna be metal like this this is really weighty like you can feel the weight in this and when you have all three of these so well, there should be four 
Yep, there's a fourth one hidden in there. I bet these were supposed to be in here like that. And the shipping, everything got kind of jumbled around. So we have order right here. We have the orcs here. We have chaos. Turn those around for you. And death. Oh, look at that. That is high quality. Look at that. It's the same on both sides. Heads or tails? Go, go, go. <laughs> look at that. That is the hammer for order. See, I have something back here that shows you the quality. It's a similar, it's the same metal, I think. Yeah, so this is a tape measure. Some of you are probably wondering, what? Why does he have a tape measure for this? Kind of weird. But it's a, um, for the actual miniatures game that this comes from. And look at that. Look at the similarities in that. This is very heavy, by the way. And these are pretty weighty. I, I didn't think, I thought they were actually going to be paper for some reason. Because I've seen promos from another game. And I was like, well, they're not going to be worth anything. But this, this is nice. People are going to want these. If this is the only pack you can get these from, people are going to want this. This is nice. That instantly increases the value of this pack. We'll see by how much in a little bit. Let's see. From left to right, let's see. We got the founding pin. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions founder. You can wear this on your shirt. You can wear it on your play mat. I've seen a lot of uh, people in like the, let's see, Naruto card game. Well, I got some old looking fingers. Don't look at my fingers, guys. You're embarrassing me. They'll take their, you know, tuning pins and stuff and put them on their play mats. And this book is nice. I remember there was another guy posting a video about what he thought the Founders Pack was going to be worth. And he said, oh, the book's not going to be, or he said the book's going to be worth like 15 to $20. And I was like, there's no way. But, oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, hold up. Oh, it's got a card list and notes. Hold up. Deck lists? And then the little book? Oh, okay. Yo, you got me. Okay, this is going to be worth something. I was completely wrong. I was like, oh, dude, this going to be worth nothing. This, because I thought it was, they said it was just going to be the the sample book, or the chapter or whatever. I was like, that's it? That's not going to be anything. But this is an actual nice book. This feels high quality. Look at that shiny black and gold. Oh, nice. Now, let's look at that back page again. So you have your checklist. Chaos, all those. Notes. Deck list. Want to see what else they have in there. Do they have any other deck lists? Okay, so it just goes straight into deck list. Notes. And then your checklist. And unaligned. Mystic Shield, Arcane Bolt. Those are some really popular um, universal spells in the game. And this is nice. This is really nice. I'm so excited to see that. Let's see, there's another insert here. We'll go through that. Okay, some mumbo jumbo. And don't choke on it. You got it. Okay. Let's take a look at this. This must be the playmat. It's pretty whitey. I think both of the playmats should be in here then. Oh, actually, no, the other playmat's inside. Ugh. Yeah, this is the two playmats. Let's take a look at them. Open this up. Okay. Oh, this is a nice tube. I'll be able to reuse this. Let's see. So I'm just going to pull that out. All right. Very grippy. These are essentially giant mouse pads for anybody new to card games. Oh, look at that. Look at that art. That is nice. There's some detail on this. Founder. Oh, so this is probably going to be very exclusive. Look at that art. Varengard. Look at that. Action champion. And then the blessings go behind it. And you have the 35 life. Okay, so this is one playmat. It's one playmat. Let's see what the other one looks like. Open this. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Stick my fingers right through the tube. Giggity. Mm. 
I'm going to have to get it from the other side. That's what she said. All right, let's see. Oh. Oh. Maybe you can't reuse these. I don't want to sit there in front of my opponent trying to pull this out of the tube for five minutes. During every match that I play. There we go. We got it. Okay, let's see. This is the same play mat? I know, this is different. Oh yeah, this is a different art. Look at that. Looks like a Stormcast Eternal. I can't tell what kind of Stormcast Eternal. If you, if you know what kind, just go ahead and let me know. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Orcs. Okay, so it's very similar, but it is a different art. It is a unique playmat from the last one. Okay. There's nothing left in there. Oh, wait. There's something in there. What is it? It's probably just a little insert or something. Ah, the rule book. Okay. Nothing else in there. Uh, Playfusion did show off the rule book. Uh, let's see if there's any surprises in here. I mean, I've already gotten surprises. I think they, more of these would have been sold if they knew exactly how nice this was going to be. Because I was taking a leap of faith getting this. And I think a lot of other people were thinking the same way. Look at that. It's a... It's, it's quality. It's not, you know, cheap little paper that they stick in, you know, the back of, like, a starter deck or something. Yeah, this is good. Let's see. We're going to look at deck number one. It is the Liberator uh, Stormcast deck. It's deck number two, Chaos. Deck number three, Orcs. And deck number four, Death. We're going to look inside these decks in just a little bit. We're going to put these to the side. We're going to open them up and take a look exactly what's inside those decks. And then we're also going to get to those booster packs. Can't wait. Look at this. This is obviously a deck box of some sort. Oh, this is a uh, cardboard. This is thick cardboard. It's pretty, uh... Oh, okay. There you go. There you are. So this is a pretty nice box. We have the art of one, two, three factions. Looks like they did leave death out. Unless that's part of death. And this is part of death, right? It's just black. <laughs> Let's put that there. Uh, we got our boosters. Quite a few boosters. Uh, just an insert. Nothing really in there. But this is a nice box though. The foam is really nice, guys. Oh, hold up. We don't want to forget this. This is... A, let's see the plaque and it should show you the number uh, I'm 836 of a thousand that's me founder 836 that's nice maybe I can start up a like a forum or something post where everyone can post their their founder number and see if we can find all 1,000 see how many are in circulation that is nice guys that's really nice I don't think you can really do much with this besides kind of hold it it is kind of credit card size um, let's see if I can pull a card out there we go a card without any of my personal information on it almost it's it's a little bigger than a credit card yep it's weighty though it's definitely made out of some good metal okay get to some exciting parts here what kind of deck do you want to open first which one death all right i love death well personally not me i don't want to die but maybe i do let's see um just kidding open this up just pop this open so this is a starter pack everyone will be able to buy these this is not just founder exclusive Let's see. Skeletal Champion, the Dead Walk. Okay, so this is probably with our basic, basic troop. 
Another skeletal champion card. Oh, this is nice quality. I can feel that. Okay. All right. The edges are nice. I like that. Nice and rounded. Decent thickness. Feels feels the same thickness as like a magic card, but there's some texture in the back. Can you see that, guys? Look at that texture. Can you see that? Look at that. That is high quality. Look at that. That is nice. And I love the coloring. There's no faded colors. There's no... I haven't seen any, like, smeared ink or anything like that. Uh, the, the, these playing cards are straight. Look at that. They're pretty straight. They don't seem warped at all. Now, those foils did seem a little warped. I hope that they're not all warped like that. I hope not every, um, you know, foil is like that. Hopefully it's just those. Let's see. It, it shouldn't bring down the value because, you know, if you're putting them in uh, as a champion, and all, all four of these are champion cards of some level, you should be able to just put it in, like, in a top loader and not have to, you know, shuffle it in your deck or anything like that. Let's see. Skeletal champion. But, you know, a lot of card games do have that warping. I know uh, Pokemon TCG has that warping. Magic definitely does have that warping. It didn't always used to be that way. I don't know what's with card games these days doing that thing. Hungering Vampire Lord. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that detail. Just look at that background. You can almost see the rosette pattern, too. Let's see. Look at that. He's a vampire. Minus one, six. So, again, if you're not familiar with, with this card game... Um, all these cards are going to rotate. Um, this is a champion, so it costs, I believe it costs six. I think that's what it says. I don't think it costs one. Now you're, you're capped out at a certain amount of points you can pay for because you can't play all the best champions. You gotta, it's a, it's a points base. Kind of like the, the, the miniatures game. You can't just play all the best, you know, units or, you know, squads of guys or armies. You have to balance it out and with a points cost, the better ones cost more, obviously. Here's the uh, the champion, uh, is, is what kind of card it is. That's kind of his attribute, I guess. He's a warrior wizard. So he, he follows under both categories. There's two categories so far. Warriors can uh, summon units. Wizards can use spells. So with him being able to do both, that's pretty good. Okay, so you discard one card from him and gain two health. Um, traditionally, gaining health hasn't been that great. I know some card games it really is, but... I don't know about this one. You have 35 health and you're only getting two and losing a card. But like Nagash, you're putting a card back in your hand every time. The reason why I'm holding it like these guys um, is to reduce the amount of people trying to scan the cards uh, through the you know YouTube or whatever uh, by hitting pause and all that. Um, you will be able to try and get a few of those if you're really dedicated. But like I said, I'm going to scan these in as soon as I'm able to. And I, I do have the beta. Uh, well... I will get the invite to the beta because I'm a founder and same thing with all the other founders you'll get the invite but so there should be at least a thousand of us It'll probably be a lot more with all the playtesters that they have dedicated bloody vampire queen okay so she's a champion as well uh, carry on feast so these are the ghouls of the um, flesh eater courts okay We'll just move through here real quick. Turmoil of Soils. Now, these are all must be one ofs here. This is a blessing. Wait, was the other one a blessing? Yeah, that was a blessing. Ignore any damage from a highlight enemy or ally that would defeat you. Instead, gain four health. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know if you played Hearthstone, but there was a card that they had to get rid of at some point because it was super good. I think it was called like Ice Wall or something. Yeah, just let me know in the comments if you remember the name of that card. I'm sure you could help me out. Supernatural Horror, Highlighted Units, or Dormant. Okay, I don't really know what Dormant means at this time. I'm also trying to learn the game here. Murderous Varagais. Another one of those. Ravenous Crypt Ghoul. Ravenous, however you say that. Mordant. Mordant. Uh, damage your opponent. Okay, so this goes... Goes round and round and round. Just a unit. Another one of those. 
Feasting Vargeist. Okay. Feasting Vargeist again. Now you can run three of most cards. So you can't run three of the, you know, um, blessings or anything. These are unique cards. But you should be able to run three of these. And there's two. So if you get a second uh, starter deck, it won't be to waste. Because you're, if you're only getting two, because I, I think, yeah, you should, um, yeah, if you're only getting two of a card in some things, your second starter deck will be able to complete your playset. I don't know yet if these cards here are also in the booster packs or which one of these are starter exclusive. Frenzied Vargeist. Okay. Right there. Zombie Dragon. Okay. Charging Black Knight. It's charging. No, don't get it twisted, guys. Uh, Curse Strike. It's Ability Warrior. Okay. Three damage to your opponent. You may rotate a highlight spell or unit one step backwards or forwards. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Bloodthirsty. Damn, look at that art. Oh my gosh. Look, that is dark. Look what she's doing to that guy. Is he dead? He's probably dead. Let me know in the comments if he's dead. Is he dead? I don't know. Soul Stealer. I just need a gash. Stealing your soul. Frightful Touch. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've seen that art before. Yeah. Frightful. Terrify. Tactical Formation. What in the world? Tactical Formation? Is this a... Is this a Death Guard? Oh, this must be a... Uh... Okay. The... Oh, I see. These are, uh, un these are um, Universal Cards. Or whatever you call it. Like, everyone can use them. Devour, Devour, Call the Grave. See, Mystic Shield, yep. You can tell by the coloring. That little silver coloring. Reduce damage received from a high of enemies and allies by rotating. Okay, cool. Opportunity Strike. Brutal Smash. Arcane Bolt. Damage your opponent. This is sweet. This is really good in the game. They had to end up nerfing it um, in the uh, miniatures game. It was really, really good. Let's see. Booster card. Scan and share to unlock digital boosters. Oh, well, let me hide this one. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that, boys and girls. Let's see. Death. Campaign Dex Reference. Okay. So this is the starter deck. Oops, I dropped a card. So you can use that with Nagash. Here's this one here. I'm going to go through these a little quicker, guys. I'm sure you're all going to get a chance to open up each starter deck. You're going to see a lot of other starter deck opening videos. When I open up some other starter decks, I'll make a separate video for that. So we're going to go through this pretty quick. Uh, Liberator Prime. Okay, that's pretty cool. Night Heralder. Lord Relictor. He is really cool in the uh, in the storyline he's basically they're kind of i mean look at that you look like he'd be doing something with death but he's basically channeling the souls of dead stormcast eternals and stuff all right vandas sweet iconic card swift judgment sorry guys i'm moving these around divine blast healing storm storm forge disruptive liberator yeah he's disruptive all right get a hold get a grip man long strike raptor Plaid and Decimator. All right, don't mess with that guy. Plaid and Protector. Plaid and Protector. Alpha Griff Charger. And I do have the models for a lot of these guys. I, I love Stormcast. I have a lot of these models, and I'm, I'll show you those models sometime. Let's see. Oh, there's Sigmar. That's that's a picture of Sigmar right there. Really Norse looking. Whoops, there goes another card. Let's see. Brutal Smash. Arcane Bolt. Let's see, Arcane Bolt again. Booster card thing. And uh, deck keywords. Stormcast unit. Alright. And it seems like most of these cards are commons. Let's see, guys. Like our Lord Relictor, he's an uncommon. He's a champion, though, so you're only going to use one of him. So even though he's uncommon, you're not really going to need multiples. Um, here's our rare. 
So I think that's the order of it. They put the uncommons and rares in the in the front. Uh, this has an E at the bottom, guys. You see that? E zero one E. I I don't know what that really means exactly. Starter exclusive. Uh, 01C, 01C. See, I don't know what those zero ones mean. Set one, I think that believes. So, like, this is card 134, 278, set one, common. I believe that's what that means. See, a lot of commons, commons. Here's some uncommons here. So, they put when they put the generic cards in the back, some of them are on uncommons. Okay. We're going to open up the second one here. Where is the... Supposed to be a professional here. Can open up booster. Uh. There we go, guys. Dead air, dead air, dead air. Okay, or boss. There's a common. Okay. The orc boss. Bone splitter shaman. So the bone splitters is a clan of orcs. Uncommon. Here's the rare, Mega Boss on Maw Crusher. So he seems to be pretty similar to the other orc. So Gordrak, Fist of Gork. So they're all, they're both riding Maw Crushes, but this is like a named, you know, he's the, uh, you know, named character. And this is a more generic Mega Boss. Renewed Warlust, Might of Gork, Smash and Bash. Ushering of the Wah. Brute smashes. More, some more brute smashes. Orc shield bashes. Bashers. Orc scrappers. Sorry, a lot of the uh, old way you would say orc stuff is that ERS would be us. And they have that very heavy accent. Slashes, see? See? So it seems like they kind of switch between the two. Pouncing Wolf Rider. Let's see. Crowded wolf. Crowded wolf chariot. Full of or, uh, goblins. <laughs> Grats, as they might call them. Gore chop a brute. It's a brute. Stomping maw crusher. So there's a maw crusher without anybody riding him. Probably. Stomping around. Mob roll. That's cool. That's, that's um, referring back to the game. Mob roll is you get one plus leadership for every you know 10 guys you have um, increase the damage so it doesn't really exactly have that same effect it's more like does damage and if this champion controls a unit with support okay invigorating chant <laughs> okay, no. look, at that. look at those colors guys look at those colors this is quality these cards are quality and they're nice and thick reminds me of a future card buddy fight did chop, did chop, rally and cry. Yeah, again, we're going through these pretty quick. These are the generic cards we've seen again and again and again and again. Seems like every deck has those generic cards. Okay, we're almost done here. We got the last starter deck. There it is, there it is. We got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. Dead air, dead air. Chaos Champion. Aspiring Deathbringer, that's your uncommon. It's a common. Another uncommon. The Bloodthirster of Unfettered Fury. Costs 10, so he's very expensive. I think the max is like 25. Another common. Hmm. I guess there's no rare in this set. Who's the Bloodthirster a rare? No, he's uncommon. Okay. Okay. Blood Reaver. So guys, Chaos is into two groups. You have Blood Letters, which are demons, and these Blood Reavers are more like humans that worship uh, the Chaos Gods. A little, a little factual information there for you. Infernal Gateway. Look at that art. Look at that. Let it focus. Look at that. What is he on top of? Just a bunch of demons? Chaos Sorcerer there. Tactical Formation again. It's kind of funny to have a Tactical Formation of uh, Stormcast in your Chaos deck, but such as a card game. 
Blake and a Bra Bra Blake. Who's, who's Blake? Breaking a few flavor rules. There we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Packs, boosters. This is a very shiny booster. Look at that. I wonder if there's any uh, way you can tell that a booster has any kind of card. You know, maybe it's got the special rare card in it or something. Because I don't know other card games you can tell because they'll color the pack differently. Only time will tell. Maybe if you can find it out, make sure you tell all of us. <laughs> what else is in here? Is it tell me the, the breakdown? Play Fusion, St. John's Innovation Center, Cambridge. It's an English game. Very high quality game, though, guys. Very high quality. Looking at booster pack. Look at that. Gain health, common. Okay, so we have a common card. Ethereal Horde. Commanding the Dead. Arachnorok Spider. Wah Infusion. Gain three health. Damage to your opponent. Return of the Fallen. Common still. Uh, here's our first uncommon. So we have three uncommons. Let's see, Gorge Hopper Brute. Serve in Death. Enraged Alopex. Okay, this is a. Uh, it's one of the new races in Warhammer. Foot of Gork. Don't get stomped out. This must be the rare. No, this is a common. Just a common? Right after the uncommons? One random common? Oh, it's the champion. You're guaranteed a champion. So you're guaranteed a champion. And this champion's not unique, guys. You can play, like, you know, two or three. I think even up to four of these guys if you want. I don't know why you might want to do that. Um, it doesn't seem to have any kind of cool effect. Maybe you have some synergy there. And this is another uncommon. This is the guaranteed blessing. Oh, look at that. Is that a foil? Yeah, check that out. Look at that. Look at that sword. This is the same guy that uh, we opened in our starter box, starter pack. We get the foil version. I don't see why you wouldn't play with a foil. And you can tell, yeah, I think all these foils, unfortunately, will be warped. So you can discard one card from your hand to gain two health. Yep. Besides that, though, the card is still high quality. You can just tell by the quality of this card. Look at that, guys. Okay. So that's my... That's my foil uncommon. We'll stick that there. Um, uncommons. Rares. Commons. Uncommons, commons, 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 commons. Okay, cool. So we have a little, you know what we're doing here. Oh, come on. Definitely in the, the European and American way of doing a booster pack. There's no uh, rip tab. Charging Blood Crusher, okay. All right, all right, common. Another common. Another common. Gift of Sigmar again. Okay, we've seen that. Strike Force Lever, common. Okay. Commons there. Uncommon. 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 Okay. What uncommons? Let's see. Got a rare. Who is the rare? Cowardly Grotz. Basically, little goblins. Okay, you get nothing there. It's a unit. A rare unit. Okay. Stacking. So you can put uh, this on another guy or. Another guy on him, I think, to make it more powerful. So, Bellowing Blade. So this is the Blessing, the Common Blessing. The Lord Relictor. It's our, it's our Uncommon Champion. Oh, check that out, guys. Check that out. Triumphant Smash. Is it a foil? What is it? It's a foil common. Okay. The foils are there. 
All right, guys, we're going to speed this up a little bit. we got a 22-minute video. For any of those that are still with me, I think some of you might have left already. Let's see, Battle Glory Common. Uh, Reckless Juggernaut. Crypt Shield Black Knight. Long Strike Raptor. Okay, so this is definitely in the... Uh, in the starter, so the starters are not exclusive cards. Um, I think the ones with E might be exclusive. I think time will tell. Yeah, once we look further and deeper into all this, here's the three uncommons. Okay, understanding how this works now. And here's your common champion. Your what? Okay, sure. Your other uncommon champion and your foil uncommon. Okay. What is the rare? Did I just pass by the rare? Oh, there it is. Fearless Core Breath of the Rare. Woo, guys, this guy gets some. I need to get some use to this. I'm opening this with you. This is live. Unedited, unscripted. This is me. There's the commons, 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 commons. There we go. Uncommons. Blood Warrior Berserker. Reckless Inspiration. Nemarty Soul Feeder. Ooh, Archeon. Okay, sweet. It's a rare. Oh, commons. And then here's the Guaranteed Champion. The Guaranteed Blessing. And our guaranteed foil, Lord Aquilor. That's cool. I do have the model of that painted. Yeah, guys, yeah, I'm going to show you that model. It's a pretty sweet model. There we go. Oh, I'm back. Here is the Lord Aquilor. So how, how, how similar does it look? How similar? Show me. Yeah, kind of, maybe, a little bit. Ah, close enough. I'll just put the model on play. I'm gonna have to play with the cards, guys. You know, as younger, I used to save booster packs that I've opened already. Just all the plastics, no reason, just did it, crazy. Here's the commons, there we go, uncommon. No, oh, I'm dropping cards. I'm just gonna put them there. Hell yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Skeletal Icon Bearer. Card looks kind of cool. Don't mess with him. Crypt Shield Skeletons. Slashing Screamer. There's your rare. So that's a Zinch card. It's a demon. A Daemon. For you young kids out there. Daemon. Oh, there it goes. Daemon's gone. Common. It's your guaranteed champion. Stick that in there. Outrageous Carnage. It's your guaranteed blessing. Strength from Victory is your foil. Foil what? Foil common. Okay. Stick my foil right there. You could probably scan some of those cards, but don't do it. Don't you dare do it. These cards will be scanned before you get a chance to get them. This is my personal collection. None of these cards are for sale. Um, let's see. Let's see. Lightning Strike. Alright, here's our own commons. How many commons is there again? One, two, three, four, five, six commons. Okay. I think I saw that online somewhere. Surprising Skulkers. Let's get more Grots. Volkrite Acolyte and Rage Alapax again. Okay. Frenzied Vargeist, rare. Yep, that goes right there. There's a guaranteed blessings and champions, commons. Ooh, look at that. Lord Veritant. Veritant? Hmm. This champion can deploy beast units. Mm, nice. So he's a wizard. Kinda warrior. What is he? Foil common. Next pack, guys. 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, there's another. There's our uncommons. There's our rare, Coven of Thrones. Okay. And our foil. Is it foil? Yeah, that is foil. Oh, huh. interesting. It's foil that doesn't seem to be too foil. This foil, though, you can kind of tell. I'm not too excited about the foil in this card. I like them shiny. Shiny. All right. Oh, oh, wrong pile. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 do that. Don't do that, guys. Divine Vengeance. Those are our uncommons. No, there's the uh, uncommon we got non foil. Our guaranteed. Rare. Stand fast. How are you gonna rotate? Yeah, we don't want them to rotate, right? Yeah, what's that? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And smash and bash. Look at that. Look at that foiling. Wow, you can it accentuates the guy in the front. Oh wow. That's interesting foiling. Really interesting. It almost looks like he's not foil at all and the outside is foil. So I think that's purpose. Maybe the last foil was done on purpose too. Common. Guys, we're almost done here. We only got a few packs left. Whoop. Three, four, five, six. Uncommons. Mmm, look at that. Cur Capricious Flamer. <laughs> Uncommons. Here's our guaranteed rare Skull Reaper Icon Bearer. And our other guaranteed champion and blessing and the Knight Heraldor. That's good. I've got a couple of those models. Champion. Rotate a highlighted Stormcast unit once. Oh, okay. So you can ramp up the, uh, the spinning of your highlighted Stormcast unit. It's pretty sweet. What is that a uh, foil common? Alright. Brutal Smash. Swift Namarty Reaver. Okay. Here's our rare. Blood Fury Wrathmonger. What does that guy do? It's a unit rare. Damage your opponent. One damage to yourself. Cool. These are guaranteed cards. Two common and uncommon. Ooh, what is that? Burrow's White Knight. He's a white knight. Ha! I wonder how much he gets. Geeky. Alright, let's see. Valkyrie the Bloody. These are foil rare. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, guys. Oh, that's the bottom. Upside down booster should be good. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's our own comments. Celestial Fate. What is that? Look at that. Ability. Okay. It's a rare though. Ooh. That's cool. I don't think all the packs came with that. It's only some packs get that. You get a free booster online. <laughs> Foil common. Get your guaranteed cards. Common uncommon. Oh. Five, six. What is that shiny card? Storm Shield. Ooh, cool. Uncommon. 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 Blood for the blood god. Okay. Remove one highly unit to gain five health. That's crazy. It's quite a bit. 35. Low damn. That is our rare. And this is our guaranteed common. Champion. 
one come. Boom, boom. And this is our, ooh, look at that. Look at that gate. Look at that. Restoring the forge. Nice. Foil uncommon. We'll just stick that over there. How about that? Two packs left, guys. I don't really know what we're trying to open. This is a brand new game. I could have opened something super insane and none of us would have known it. Until, you know, you're watching this video. Oops, sorry guys. A long time from now. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, gain additional action this turn. That's not bad. Three other comments. Here's our rare. Lord of the Host. Who's the Lord of the Host? Who is he? Wow. We got some effects on this guy. Look at that. That's our rare. And there's our two guaranteed other cards. They're both comments. Put those in the comments line. Scorn of Sorcery. Foil Pama. And extra code card. Yeah, I don't think we got a code card in every pack, but uh, especially not in the first few packs we opened. This is a code card in this one? Yeah, okay. Maybe I was. Maybe I'm blind. Still new to this, guys. Still new. Doing this as soon as y'all do it. This is this is the first packs I've ever opened in this card game, by the way. I'm doing it behind the camera. I can start smelling the cards, though. You can smell that ink. Yep, I love cards. Cardboard crack. Let's see. Lucky and Prince. Riding another eel. So those are the underwater dudes. I don't have any other models. It's a very new line. Guaranteed cards. Okay. And the foil. Zombie dragon. Straight up. Risen. As this enters play, discard one card from your hand. Rend. Damage your opponent. Hmm. It's pretty cool. And that's it, guys. We have opened everything in this box. This entire this is the entire founders pack. This is I really think this is worth it. You know, we were talking about is the EV worth it? I thought it was gonna be barely worth the, the 200 you paid for it. But as you can see, you get all these cards. You get all these cards, all these boosters. You get this four decks. Um, but really where that money's being made up is where we didn't think things like this were going to be as nice as they were. I thought these were going to be cardboard little cutouts. You know, I've seen that in so many card games, but not this one. This one is about the quality, guys. Look at that. It's just about quality. Like, everything they give you is quality. I think the only thing that's not quality is probably the foiling. But, I mean, honestly, the foiling is like that in, in, in so many card games. I think it's like the standard now. Just so many card games have have this this warped foiling. But I wouldn't really harp on that too much. Uh, a lot of people like foils. And, honestly, a lot of people that use foils and stuff, you know, especially these champions and things, um, even in like Magic the Gathering, they put them in extra couple sleeves and their giant, you know, EDH deck. The foiling doesn't matter to them too much. Of course, we would all love to not have, you know, bent foils. This book is so nice. Did not expect this book to be this nice. Just did not expect it whatsoever. And I'm really surprised by this. And guys, thank you for watching.